Hey guys, my name is Jonah Battle, and today I'm going to be showing you how I house this gecko um, in a couple of different ways. Uh, first, I move her from a 5 gallon to a 10 gallon tank, and then I move her from a 10 gallon to a different 5 gallon actually, and she's a quite a large gecko. Um, but I move her back into a 5 gallon for a couple different reasons, which I'll explain later in this video. And if you're wondering, um, from me doing just research in general, I do believe that she is a partial pinstripe Dalmatian with um, like a fringe. I think that's what these lines on her, her legs are called, like morph-wise. Now, I'm not sure about any of my geckos like for sure because I got them all um, rehomed. I don't really plan on doing morph videos in the future. I might, but um, I'm not sure because I don't know very much about it and I'm colorblind and morphs don't really concern me very much. So hope you guys enjoy, but there's just a few different ways I've set up an enclosure for her. To start off, I took down the five gallon that I originally set her up in, and while she was thriving in this tank, um, I had a couple reasons to take it apart. One, I needed it for an art project. As you can see, there's clay figures on top. Those will eventually go inside. So I needed to take all the tropical plants out of it. And Two, I thought that she could do better in a larger tank. So then um, the majority of the plants that were in that um, five gallon, I actually went ahead and redid the top of my um, 20 gallon tall enclosure. Now that top area has its own like dirt and stuff. So I went ahead and took everything out and then added some of those philodendrons sitting right there to the left and also I added a bunch of pothos and just a bunch of different things I had um, either from my, uh, that were hanging from my fish tank or from the five gallon that I had just taken down. And then um, I thought it turned out really great actually. I, I uh, basically, it was a 20 gallon tall and I just didn't think it was filled out enough. It just didn't um, match the 30 gallon that was right beside it and I just wasn't super happy with it. So I added a ton more plants and um, just made it a much better enclosure for uh, Teddy. And I think that it turned out pretty great. So then I went ahead and set up a 10 gallon for Luna. And um, this was real basic, just what I had done, the same type of 10 gallon setup I had done for the other two um, new crested geckos. And I just used uh, my normal soil mix with all these philodendron plants. I think there's only philodendron plants in there. And I had her in that for um, a matter of weeks, I think. But basically, she hasn't been eating. I keep really good notes about which geckos are eating and everything. And when I had her in the five gallon before, she would always eat on her own. And she doesn't like to be hand fed, even though I've tried a bunch and it just didn't end up working out. So I went ahead and set her up back into a five gallon as well. Um, it also helps with space. So I think within this five gallon here, she'll be able to actually find the food and I'll make sure to put it right in front of her. But like I said, all the other geckos well, are just fine eating in my hand. They don't mind at all. Here's um, one. I kind of have a very hoarder type of setup going on right here and um, I'll explain that in a second, but I think that this setup will do um, much better for her right there. And um, obviously she's the most important part of this, but um, also I think this tank doesn't look too bad. Um, my favorite temporary setup right now is this tank. I know the glass is disgusting and everything's disgusting, but basically right now um, everything doesn't look nice, but th the animals are doing fine and that's what's most important. Also, you can see Beth right there. You guys don't get to see Beth very often. Um, but here's Garfunkel. Really like this tank. Um, I have some future plans with this really basic design. These two pieces, that coconut, and that. Just, ugh, I love it. I don't know why. Um, it reminds me of another 10 gallon tank I used to have, and I just loved it. I, again, don't know why. Um, just little 10 gallon terrariums. They're just amazing. Then here is. Um, uh, Leonard here and then here is Luna so the reason why they're all going here is because the iguana is getting a huge upgrade into this area 
Um, this whole area will be a much bigger iguana cage right now. The iguana is in here, and this thing is going to be like as tall as me. So it's gonna, I mean, this thing's going to be up huge. I mean, that's not how tall I am, but um, the the inside will be as tall as me. Basically, with the hood and everything, it's just going to be um, huge, probably taller than that. I think I don't know. It's very large, and it's wider than this tank is, and it's longer than this tank is as well, so it's just bigger in every single way. Um, so basically, these enclosures are what were three 10 gallons were here, and right now I have PD set up here. I clean PD twice a day because PD is a um, Mississippi map turtle that I rescued that has shell rot, so I have to clean um, him twice a day. Just gave him a shot a couple minutes ago. And then right here is a 10 gallon that I actually feed um, Lewis in because Lewis has not been gaining weight and he's actually been like losing weight since winter, not drastically, but just I would like him to be keeping a weight at least, um, preferably but I like my animals to actually gain weight because um, that just tells me I'm doing good. Um, so he actually does better if I feed him in here where there's no flow and there's no nothing to compete with him. And also it's better, probably better on the system to put less food. So that's what that is. Um, doesn't look great, but it's all about the animals um, and then plants. But basically right here is going to be a filter that we're making. Um, so far it's going all right the glass isn't like snapping for some reason um but we're making a like a glass tank to be a filter right here not really important but basically i need the space and once it'll be a lot easier to clear this off than clear those off so all these guys are good all the enclosures open up even though there's lights sitting on them everything works really well um then when we get the iguana cage in i'll be able to clear this stuff out because all this stuff basically goes into the iguana cage at least all of this stuff is for the iguana cage um so basically i'm just getting prepared to be able to move some stuff around and have space so as soon as we get the iguana cage um in here then i can actually just take these enclosures and set them inside the iguana cage or something i don't even know we might move this iguana cage out for a while while i work on it um like in the garage or something i'm not sure on that but if we do then i'm sure i could set up a stand or something just something that looks nicer than this but this is basically how it is for now. Oh, by the way, when I did do that art project, I used my, this lid, um, cause it's somewhere else now, honestly, don't even know. My art teacher wanted me to do a diorama, basically, not really. That's, that was my idea, but um, that's what I did. And then I gave it to her and I guess she's taking it to like a competition, I don't know. I, she didn't give me very much information. It was very strange, but. Um, I'm sure I'll be getting that back someday. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> but I have this piece of plexiglass that I cut that's, that was like pretty much already the size. I just had to cut it once. And, um, here it is. And it fits under there. And then I put a rock on top just in case. Um, just to make sure that nothing happens there. And I might drill more holes and stuff. So I think that'd probably be better. I, um, do hope you guys enjoyed if you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. Have a fantastic day.